guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist, and welcome to my studio. Today I would like to share with you my few favorite features with the latest update for Adobe Dimension CC. Yes, I'm talking about October 2018 update. So guys, let's start. First of all, I would like to bring your attention to the canvas. If you will click and highlight your canvas size, you will be able to resize your canvas right here. Guys, just look at this i love it also we have a lot of new 3d objects we can work with i will click on this um, basic clothes a model and voila guys look at this how perfect is it i will click on another 3d object i would like to work with today it's coffee bag just like that <laughs> guys and look i don't need to mask out anything to make my bag look uh, natural everything done by dimension cc and i love it i will switch to select an rotate tool i will rotate my bag just like that i will switch to select and move tool and i will move it slightly to the on the distance and to the left just like this now i will click on another 3d object coffee cup just like this and voila and again i don't need to apply any extra steps to make my uh, cup look um looks um, natural so everything masks out perfectly everything looks so natural thank you dimension so let's continue i will highlight my um uh, backdrop 3d object and i will apply material um I will apply some extreme uh, material um, to my uh, backdrop. Extreme, um, when I'm saying extreme, I'm saying extreme particular to this project. It's a lot of pattern, but why not? Let's do extreme today. I will be back to my um, uh, scene um, properties. I will highlight my coffee bag. And I will apply another material to my coffee bag. I will apply this uh, material. You can use any material you like. I like this material. It's clean, but with a lot of texture. I will change color for my material. I will use black color and voila. Now I will highlight my uh, cup. And I will apply same material to my cup. But guys i will not uh, change any properties i like uh, this color uh, applied to my cup but i will apply different material to my um, cup a lid i will highlight my lid i will apply plastic material just like that i will move um, metallic slider slightly to the right same with roughness and I will change color for my material. I will apply black color, just like this. I will be back to my uh, scene panel. I will highlight my cup tab, and here I have a uh, graphics icon. I will click on um, this icon, and here I have splashes graphics. Guys, just look at this. Yes, I created this graphic in Adobe Illustrator CC. I will click on it. I will open it. <laughs> Guys, I love it. And I will resize it. I will make it bigger. Just like that. And I will rotate it. <laughs> Perfect. Guys, I love it. And now, guys. La la. Yes, I can bring another graphic to my cup. Here I have my another graphic I created in Adobe Illustrator CC, just like this. How amazing is it? I will bring it up. I will scale it. I will make it bigger, just like that. And I kind of like this um, graphics. I like everything about it, but I don't like color. So what do I need to do? Do I need to be back to Adobe Illustrator CC and apply a few changes? Um, such as uh, change the color yeah I can do this but I can do better I can change my uh, color for my graphics right here in Adobe Dimension CC how very simple guys remember this is Adobe Illustrator file so I will click on image icon and here I have all my 
artboards I created in Adobe Illustrator CC. Yes, in Adobe Illustrator CC, I can switch between my um, artboards. Let's click on artboard three. And I like artboard two, just like this. And voila, guys. <laughs> yeah, I can adjust material. Example, I can uh, uh, move roughness uh, slider slightly to the right and voila. And now, guys, I will bring another um, graphic. Yes, the logo. I also created this logo in Adobe Illustrator CC. I will bring this logo down just like that. I can resize it. I will make it. Uh, I can make it bigger. Bring it up. And voila, guys. Yes. Also, I can switch between my artboards. I remember I used artboard two, and I will use artboard two with this graphic as well. But I will move a roughness slider slightly to the right and voila guys how amazing is it i can apply same graphics to my uh coffee bag but you have um an idea so i will not keep you here longer than it's supposed to be so let's continue also guys i will be back to my uh, scene panel i will click on uh camera yes guys i now we have separate uh, camera tab in here and I will uh, I can enable my focus feature just like this. I can apply a uh, set a focus point. I can set a focus point to my cup. Just let like camera. Just like that. So right now my cup in the focus and everything uh, out of focus. I kind of apply depth of field to my project you can increase blur amount or decrease it it's up to you also you can uh, change a uh, um, focus point example right now your um, coffee bag will be in a focus and a coffee cup will be out of focus same you can make it you can uh, up, uh, increase a blur amount or decrease it it's up to you but i will bring uh, my uh, coffee cup in focus and I will decrease uh, blue amount to about 3.6. Now, guys, I will click on camera icon. And yes, I can bookmark it right now. I will click on this uh, plus sign just like this. I can rename it to number one. It's my first uh, view. I will switch to um, rotate camera. I will rotate my project just like this. And yes, I can bookmark this view as well, number two. And now I can switch between my bookmarks, just like this. Amazing. Guys, it's getting better. When I'm happy with my project, I mean, I can continue working on this project as well. Uh, of no, of sure, I can. But I would like to send this project as it is to my client just to see if... Um, this is what uh, he or she wants to see and if he or she will say yeah you're on the right path continue working on your project i will continue working on this project so now i will send this uh, project to my client i will click on render and yes guys right now uh, we can render multiple views in same time uh, my current view it's my view number one so i can uncheck it and i can check number two two and number one so what a uh, dimension will do dimension will start um rendering from a uh, first view when uh, uh, dimension will finish a uh, first view rendering dimension will start working on a second view rendering and after that you will have two files guys this is absolutely amazing but i will be back to my design workspace and here we have absolutely new amazing icon share 3d scenes i will click on it just like that i will click on publish 3d scene i will rename it to um october 2018 and voila i will click on create public link guys 
just wait for it. it this is absolutely amazing i'm so happy as a designer it's like my dream came true I, i'm super super happy so uh uh, Dimension CC cre generated uh, created a link for me. Generated, I'm uh, sorry, link for me. I can copy link and send this link uh, to my client, even using uh, iMessage. I can create public link and send it, or click on view on web, and voila, guys, this is our project. Your client can rotate it and view it in many ways guys i'm absolutely happy and look at the texture guys this is something breathtaking i love i love i love it so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today as usual if you have any questions just ask don't hesitate just ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions and i will see you later thank you guys for your time super appreciated bye